race fans, welcome back to live to live racing for the new Smyrna Speedway. This is Owen McCall, and we're here March 25th, 2017 for opening night at New Smyrna Speedway. And we're here for the second event here on opening night, and it is the Open Wheel Modifieds. This race is a treat for you, as this is the one division that I actually did not cover last year. So you're going to see these guys for the first time, and this is going to be great. Six Modifieds are preparing to go for 25 laps as they make their way around the track during the pace laps. And here is the starting lineup. On the pole position in the 15, that is Robert Deal. And to his outside on the one, that is Wayne Parker. Row two in the 4B, you can't miss him. Just look for the Florida Gators logo on the hood. That is Alan Bruns. And to his outside of the 55, it is Shane Held. Row three is going to be the 44B of Matthew Bruns and the seven of Ricky Moxley. Unfortunately, the 96 of Matt Wheeler was unable to make the start of this race. And we do have a seventh modified, actually. Coming out of the pits in the number 90, Mike Dom is going to hop into the back. So we are going to have seven cars. drivers who are absent from this race are defending modified points champion Jerry Simons and another guy who has been a, who has been a staple in the series uh, Tank Tucker who won the 2015 track championship for this division both drivers unable to make it out here for opening night first points race of the year for the modifieds and we'll see how it turns out Right now, I would say any of the top six drivers in this race has a shot to go into the Hampton Inn victory lane tonight here at New Smyrna. Right now, they're behind the dual Dodge Ram pace trucks making their rounds before the drop of the green flag. Right now we're down to one pace truck. The one to go signal is coming out. Lights are out on the pace truck. Everybody is doubling up. Next time by the green flag is out and the modifies will begin their 2017 season. This division last year got heavily affected by rainouts. This division, like I said, very heavily affected by rainouts. A lot of their events were rained out last year. And that's one of the main reasons why I was unable to get this division on the channel. But don't worry, modified drivers. You're on here, fine. You're on floor at Florida, finally. And as they come out of turn number four, the green flag is out. We are racing. Great start for the one of Wayne Parker. Wayne Parker shoots into the lead like a rocket, followed by Robert Deal in second. Here comes Shane Hale to the outside in a side by side battle with Alan Bruns for the third spot. Parker shot out to the lead like, like he was being. Parker got the lead like he's being shot out of a cannon. He's going to lead lap one. End of lap one. Held is going to get the third spot. He's running side by side with Bruns. Here comes Alan Bruns into that third spot. Shane Held is going to fall into fourth and fifth. It is Ricky Moxley. Matthew Green is in sixth.
already, Mike Dobb has already pulled off the racetrack and into the pits, making him the first DNF of the Modifies this year. Right here, we could have a potential battle for fourth going on between Shane Held and Ricky Moxley. Moxley in that seven is closing in on Held in the 55. So we're going to see if anything develops with that as the race progresses. The 25 lap feature. Right now, it looks like we're having a little bit of action here with the, the back three. Matthew Green is closing in on Moxley for fifth. Uh, again, we'll see if there's any development going on as this race progresses. for fifth, but he was unable to get it. Moxley moves a little bit up high in the race. I got a whole lot, but he was up a little bit high in the race right in the corner in that seven. But right now, it is all Wayne Parker in that one car up front. Parker got the lead right off the bat at the start of this thing, and he has been running away with it since. Now back to that start, Parker got a really fast, quick start out of the gate. Uh, I can't tell if Robert Gill spun the tires or missed the shift or what it was, but it did not appear to me that, uh, but personally it appeared to me that Parker did not jump the start, because if he had jumped the start, then they would have waved the caution flag, regrouped everybody, and tried to start all over again. So I don't know what happened up front, but Parker he had a really good move to get that lead, and it's paying off for him as he is up front. He has led every lap of this race so far. Robert Deal is trying to explore his options. He's trying to see if he can close in on Parker and get that win here in this race. got a little bit loose coming out of four there. That car, that seven car wiggled around a little bit.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, five laps to go. The NASCAR official is displaying the five to go signal. Can Wayne Parker hold on to his lead and win the first modified feature of 2017? Right now you're seeing the back three that's held Moxley and Green, and now we're back to the front three of Parker, Deal, and Brun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out of turn number four for the final time, Wayne Parker is going to take the checkered flag, winner of the first modified feature of 2017. He is going to be followed by Robert Deal, Alan Bruns, Shane Held, Ricky Moxley, Matthew Green, and coming in with the DNF tonight, Mike Dom, and the, did, and the driver that got the DNS did not start, Matt Wheeler. The first two features of tonight have been run caution-free. The Modifieds and the Sportsman were both run caution-free. Here he is, race fans, the winner of the first Modified feature of 2017. Wayne Parker is going to pull that number one into the Hampton Inn victory lane.